Hey, how's it going everyone? GC Performance here back with another video. Today I have for you guys the brand new 2021 Chisel Comp in a size large. It weighs in at 27 pounds, five ounces. And in kilos, it is just at 12.3, 12.38, 12.39 kilos. Uh, stay tuned after the video, we hear a free body sound test on these wheels right here. And uh, yeah, thank you guys. Hey, how's it going everyone? GC Performance here back with another video. Today I have for you guys the 2021 Specialized Chisel Comp. This bike retails for $1,900 uh, and this is a size large. I have done a video on the previous model that is for $1,600 just called the Chisel. If you guys haven't seen that, go ahead and check it out on the channel. I'll put up to link it right there below or up top there. Um, but yeah, this is a cross country XC bike by Specialized. This is a really kind of weird bike and, and, and in the middle of uh, like very performance oriented at a pretty good price point. But uh, for a couple hundred dollars more, you can get a carbon frame. So we're gonna talk about if this bike's uh, really gonna be who this is for and everything like that. Um, but, yeah, but let's go ahead and get into the actual bike and the specs of it. And then I'll talk about this compared to the $1,600 bike. So between the two, actually, just real quick, between the two bikes, between 1600 bucks and 1900 bucks, um, the only reason why you buy a chisel comp over the chisel base is because it comes with a little bit nicer drivetrain. The chisel comes with a Dior, which just has a Shimano SLX. Uh, same 1x12 system. This is just gonna be a little bit smoother shifting and uh, a little bit nicer finishes. So really you're gonna get a very similar shift uh, between the SLX and Dior but this maybe might hold up longer or it might shift a little bit smoother uh, because it has nicer finishes and stuff like that. Also, the brakes are nicer. These are name brand Dior, whereas the other ones were just Shimano 6100s. Um, and they just say Shimano without the Dior on there. And then this is a RockShox Judy Gold, whereas the other one is a RockShox Judy Silver. Um, and that's just wind turtle swell. Excuse the wind. Um, but yes, the fork on this one is gonna be a little bit better. Uh, better internals, a little bit smoother actuation for the stanchions going in and out. Uh, a little bit lighter as well, but that's the main difference between the two. So why would you pick this bike over the $1,600 bike? Maybe you're one of those people who buys a $1,600 bike and they like to upgrade right away. This will kind of negate that effect. So if you wanted to, let's say you bought the $1,600 bike and then you're like, hey, I wanna upgrade my bike brakes. You already probably beat in the $1,900 range for buying upgraded brakes or upgraded components. So this kind of gives you everything at a budget price without having to spend that. Um, now, if you don't care about the upgrades and you're like, hey, 12 speed will do fine, I don't care, it's just me getting my feet wet, then you can go ahead and get the $1,600 bike. But this is something that will set you kind of ahead of the game, get you nice components and uh, something you don't have to really worry about upgrading. But we'll go into it and to get to everything this bike comes with. So it is a uh, specialized alloy handlebar, 31.8, 760 millimeters wide. Uh, they give you these specialized lock-on grips right here with the three millimeter Allen key to adjust it. Very nice looking texture, but uh, yeah, nice, decent grip. You have Shimano Dior brakes on here. Uh, nothing crazy, they do use a mineral oil. Shifters on here are going to be the uh, Shimano SLX shifters, it is a 12 speed. The SLX is very smooth, do not let where this, uh, this price point of these shifters, uh, don't let them define the shift. They're actually really, really smooth. I'm a big fan of the SLX series, so uh, you're getting a really nice shifter there. You're getting a specialized alloy comp stem here. Uh, fork on here is going to be the RockShox Judy in the Gold Series. They are black stanchions, 100 millimeters for the travel. If you do get an extra small, I believe it's 80 millimeters, but small, medium, large, and extra large are all 100 millimeter travel stanchions because this is an extra large bike. You have your compression right here, which you have the controllability to leave it completely open. You have a little intermediate click so you can change this too to make it a little bit damp, uh, firmer, or you can fully lock this out if you wanted to as well. You have your air side over here, which you pump this up for your air settings. Uh, and there is a little shock chart on all these forks nowadays. So if you are confused or maybe your bike shop doesn't set it up, you have a shock chart there to add up to what PSI for your weight. And you can see right here, this is a 42 millimeter offset fork, 100 millimeter travel, and a 29 inch wheel can only fit this fork. So um, very good. This is a boost specific bike. So it's a 15 by 110 front axle with a through axle on here. Um, the wheels are here are going to be the Shimano, I'm sorry, the Specialized, I think just like an alloy wheel. The internal width of them is 25 millimeters, so they're giving you some pretty good uh, grip and handling control so you can run some low tire pressures. Tires that come spec to here are a specialized fast track control tire. It's a 29 by 2.3 front rear, so this is a 29 by 2.3. Um, pretty nice. I mean, it, the fast track is a nice tire, but giving that little 2.3 is an added bonus to give you a little bit more extra control on the trails or descending or anything like that. This is a bike that is, yes, more aimed towards XC, but you can see that they definitely 
gave it a more raked out top head tube. I believe it's 69 degrees. And uh, they also gave this bike the ability to add a uh, dropper post if you want to, a 30.9 dropper post. So if you did want to take it on a little bit more single track or a little bit more stuff that has more hills to it, uh, you're capable of doing that. But this is definitely more aimed towards a um, XC type bike. Rotors on here are a, that's a big rotor. That's a Shimano center lock rotor. And I believe this is a, uh 180 yeah 180 front rotor because it's a large you have the shimano dior brakes right here uh and then we'll go to the bottom bracket it is a threaded bottom bracket difference between the chisel and the rock hopper the chisel uses the m5d alusio smart weld so a little bit nicer of a, of a alloy um it's going to be welded better they have these seat stays welded down here they make the seat stay or the top tube a little bit welded down there you can see the main difference for the rock hopper and the chisel the chisel is more skinnier because it uses nice material. They don't have to use so much of it because it's so strong, whereas the rock hopper is a little bit thicker and more bomb proof of a bike. It's more of an entry level bike. Maybe someone who doesn't know what they want to do yet with their, with their money, they buy an entry level rock hopper. The frame is more robust. It can take more of a beating, whereas this is a lot lighter um, and, you're, and you're saving some weight. I think the weights on these things are like 14, maybe 1600 grams. I forget the exact specs, but you can check on specialized.com. Um, but this bike is very capable of a lot of things. You can see that's right there where the external dropper post will go for the cable. Um, two positions for the water balls uh, right here. You have boom, boom, boom. And then you have another water ball that you can put right here as well. You get a Shimano SLX crank on here. And then the chain ring is a 32 tooth chain ring right here. The chain that they spec on here is going to be a Shimano SLX chain for a 12 speed. Then you have in the back a Shimano 12 speed cassette. It is a 10 by 51. Uh, cassette and then you can see the SLX mechanical 12-speed derailleur right here and they have this little clutch right here on all their Shimano derailleurs right now when this is off in the down position it's going to be a smoother shift like riding on flat road or maybe levees and you want a nice smooth shift maybe if you're going some single track or some bumpy gravel you put this clutch up and this is going to put more tension on this cage right here so it's not rattling around watch when I put this down you can see very easy move press on it there's more chain jumps of that when I put this up more snap to it and uh it doesn't bounce around as much this this does change the feeling of your shift um when it's down it'll be a smoother shift when it's up it almost feel, feels kind of like sram it's more of an, uh, an initiated click so keep that in mind when it's changing them um saddle on here is going to be the specialized power comp saddle uh nothing crazy but a good nice supporting saddle nice wide load cutout to allow blood flow and a 30.9 aluminum seat post right here. Uh, the rotor on the rear is going to be a 160 millimeter rotor. Yeah, 160 millimeter rotor, Shimano Serlock, and then you see that Shimano Dior right there as well. Um, and the tire in the rear is a fast track control 29 by 2.3, like I said before. But yes, so this bike right here is 900 bucks. It's a chisel comp. Like I said, this is a, a bike that's right underneath the Epic Hardtail, which a specialized Epic Hardtail is a full carbon hardtail but definitely more racy and not as much um, front fork rake. Uh, but you're gonna have to spend a little more money. They're oiling carbon. Maybe you're a diehard enthusiast of aluminum. You don't like carbon. You don't want the, the maintenance of carbon, which there isn't a lot, but just some reason you don't like carbon. Uh, this is pretty much like a race day XC bike, but in aluminum form. And you actually still get to save a little bit of money. So I think they did a nice little option here. This, this definitely was a marketplace for this because I still get people asking me for aluminum high-end hard tails all the time. Obviously, it's not going to be specced with a XX1 componentry, but you can always do that as a consumer uh, with the money you save to put onto this bike. So, But that's going to do it for this video, guys. Let me know if you have any questions down below. This is the Specialized 2021 Chisel Comp. Retail is $1,900. It's is a size large. This is in stock here, so if you do want to buy it and you're local, come on by and check it out. Or send me an email if you uh, want to and you're in the area. We can uh, talk about it there. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you guys again so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.